Hi, are you thinking about moving to or visiting Anahuac, Texas? If you're thinking about moving to or even visiting Anahuac, Texas, here's three things that you'll want to know. So, moving to or visiting Anahuac, Texas. Hi, I'm Will Johnson. I'm a local real estate agent here in Anahuac, Texas area i actually live in anahuac or wallaceville they all call it anahuac but technically i live in a place called wallaceville texas nevertheless if you're moving to or visiting anahuac texas feel free to give me a call a text or an instagram dm however you can get a hold of me because i love to hear from you guys so let's get into the video moving to or visiting anahuac texas so the first thing is the cost of living so what is the cost of living in anahuac texas so if we reference bestplaces.net, the U.S. average cost of living is at 100. Texas is a 93.9, Anahuac is a 93.7. So Anahuac is right below that mark. So the cost of living of Anahuac is not that expensive. You know, Anahuac is kind of weird. It's kind of like a lot of people want a lot of money for the land and for the houses. And some people don't want a lot of money. But in general, the cost of living here is going to go up because there's so many new home subdivisions being built up around this Anahuac area. So I think there's like over a thousand homes being built right now and they're clearing land for even more homes to be built. So if you're interested in any of the new homes in the Anahuac area, also just uh, give me a call or text or shoot me a DM, however you can get a hold of me there. So housing, so the cost of housing in Anahuac comes in really low at a 68 out of the 100 of the U.S. average, which means that the housing cost here in Anahuac is generally lower than most places and lower than Texas. The median home cost here in Anahuac is $185,000 for a home, so the uh, costs here are a lot less. Anahuac is like a little country town. So the cost of living in Anahuac is very low. I mean, Anahuac is a very small town. It only has like two to 3,000 people. So that brings us to number two. What's the environment and neighborhoods like in Anahuac, Texas? As I said before, Anahuac has a lot of new subdivision neighborhoods going on. Other than that, Anahuac is a very country area. So you're just going to be a lot of wide open spaces, people with their own land. Uh, if you drive down 563 you are into the city of Anahuac and then now you'll have a little more city but it's still pretty much country. I believe there's a lot of wildlife reserves or wildlife sanctuaries here to where they can't uh, destroy things and uh, hurt the environment because I don't know the history of it but the U.S. evidently made some laws to where you had to preserve uh, so much wildlife and so much land and that's how the Anahuac area is. Now, that being said, there are a lot of new subdivisions coming here, so the population is gonna start growing, but I don't believe it's ever gonna be a place like Houston to where it's just full of people because of the wildlife protection. So Anahuac, Texas is located in Chambers County. Chambers County, the taxes are a lot lower than Harris County, so that's one thing that affects the cost of living that the tax rate is a little lower compared to Harris County, so you won't pay as much taxes. If you're coming from out of state, you're gonna save money because there's no state income tax in Texas, but you can watch my video on moving to Houston or moving to Beaumont. I go more into depth on those things. So what is the climate like here in Anahuac? Uh, I made a video on moving to Baytown and I explained the climate. I did more in depth on a video on moving to Beaumont. You can go watch those videos for a more full understanding on the climate in Southeast Texas. But in Anahuac, I will say that it's around a lot of water. So Anahuac's around a lake. I think that's why there's so many mosquitoes here. It's a lot of mosquitoes here. I'm not gonna lie, cause I live in this area. Also, uh, what I've noticed is it rains a little more here. I noticed that it'll rain here and it doesn't rain in Houston. So yeah, I noticed it rains a little more here, I guess because we're around the lakes. And when I actually looked this up, because I thought it must be insane because Baytown is right there. But uh, yeah, Anahuac gets like two point something more inches of rain than uh, Baytown and a lot of the other areas, well, I guess because it's by all of these lakes. So it brings us to the last thing, point number three, what is there to do in Anahuac? So Anahuac doesn't have a lot 
going on with it. Now there's a lot of new subdivisions, so at the best, it'll be a big suburb. I mentioned on my video on moving to Mount Beverly, on how Mount Beverly is a nice suburb, is a higher end area. Anahuac hasn't got there yet. Anahuac is a very country, very rural area. That being said, what is there to do in Anahuac, Texas? A lot of people love to come to Anahuac, Texas to go fishing. So people come to Anahuac, Texas to go fishing all the time. When I tell people I live in the Anahuac area, people are always like, oh man, I do some good fishing over there. Man, I gotta get back over there. So people love to come to the Anahuac area to fish. That's the most thing that I hear people talk about when they talk about coming to the Anahuac area. The second thing is hunting. People love to hunt here in the Anahuac, Texas area. So, of course you need to get yourself a hunting license unless you're hunting on private property, but people love to hunt. Also with the fishing, you need to get a fishing license. That's the game warden will get you. But for the most part, people love to hunt and fish here in the Anahuac, Texas area. Uh, people love to homestay and garden and do those type of things. So if you are looking for a uh, nice rural life to where uh, you know the community, people know each other, and people uh, very friendly uh, come to Anahuac, Texas. One big thing that people like to do here in this area is they like to hunt pigs. So there's big on pig hunting. Sometimes the pig population gets out of hand and out of control and you're able to go hunt pigs at will and uh, people love to hunt the pigs. So sometimes it can be scary. The first time I moved down here, I believe like the fifth or fourth night, I was driving home and I saw a big pig come in front of the car. And it was huge. I thought it was like a cow or something, but I knew it was a little too short to be a cow, but it was uh, taller than the hood of my car. So, you know, I was, uh, a little frightened when I saw that, but needless to say, I didn't see anything like that that got in, in the middle of the road anymore, but I thought that would be a nice story to tell. I also ran across a uh, scorpion twice, uh, I think within the ten, 10 years I've been here at my location, then I also ran across a scorpion in Bernie, Texas when I went with my church to our festival and I ran across a scorpion in the hotel room. At a hotel in Bernie, Texas, I found this one in my room. So if you're not from Texas, you may not be used to seeing uh, scorpions. Well, you won't see them that much here, but you know, West Texas is a lot of desert. So if you move to this area, there's a good chance you will see a uh, scorpion or is a good, really good chance you will see crawfish. You see these crawfish come out of the ground every year, they make these little tunnels and uh, people here love the crawfish, people here love to eat the crawfish. Another thing people love in the Anahuac, Texas area, it's probably been down since COVID, but people love this place called the Crawfish Place. I went there and recorded a video there, but people love going to the Crawfish Place. People come from out of town, out of Anahuac, just to come go to the crawfish place so that's a place that you would probably want to come definitely if you go through I've done a few other businesses in Anahuac Texas like the tire shop there and the uh, the florist here so, so that brings us to an end for moving to living in Anahuac Texas I hope you've enjoyed this video people that live in Anahuac what did I miss if I missed anything please put it down in the comments but please remember Keep it PG people and I'll see you in the next video.